Apostolic Christian Assembly, Perambu Ministries welcomes you for Thought for the Night Devotion. God bless you as you prayerfully listen to this brief devotion. Greetings to you this evening in the ever-faithful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When you look back over your life and think of the wonderful way that God had been leading us and guiding us all through this year, we just cannot but shed tears in the presence of God. Having come to the last but one day of this year, it's good to reflect on the goodness of God and have a heart of gratitude and thank God for all that He had been in our life. Wonderfully did lead us and guide us, protect us and preserve us, met supplied all our needs, and we need to thank God for all that He had been in our life. For our devotion this evening, let's read Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 2. I'm reading the first part of that verse. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness. Moses causing the people of God to remember the way the Lord God had been leading them ever since he did set his love upon them. The people of Israel were never to forget the way the Lord had been leading them ever since he had delivered them from bondage. The Lord fought their battles, did great things in their lives. Like the people of Israel, God expects us this evening to remember all that he had done in our life all through this year. The wonderful hand of God had been leading us and guiding us, protecting us and preserving us. Remember, when you face difficulties in life, it was God who did bring you out of every trouble. He fought your battles. He opened up closed doors for you. He brought on every Jericho wall in your life. He made a way for you where there seemed to be no way. When we faced a hopeless situation, it was God who did give us hope. It was God who did encourage us. And it is God who was with us to accomplish all His plan and purpose in our lives. Like the people of God, each one of us have seen with our own eyes the wonderful works of God. When the enemies came up against God's people, it was God who did fight their battles. To the people of Israel, it was a physical enemy, but God did fight all our spiritual battles. The enemy tried to destroy the family peace, but we need to thank God this evening. God was with us in every difficult situation, and we experienced God's divine peace in each one of our lives. It was God who did protect us and preserve us. It's good to look back and remember to reflect on the faithfulness and the goodness of God. We need to remember this evening, if it had not been for God's goodness, where would we be and what we would have been. Have a heart of gratitude this evening. Think of the wonderful way that God has blessed us. He had never left us. He had never forsaken us. God was faithful to fulfill every promise that He had promised us. People did rise up against us, but it was God who was with us and God fought our battles. God this evening wants us to have a heart of gratitude. When we face discouraging moments in life, it was God's presence with us who did lead us and guide us all the way through. And there was none to encourage us and strengthen us. It was the presence of God with us. Think of the confession of Jacob when he left his father's house as a loner. It was God who met with him and gave him a wonderful promise in the book of Genesis chapter 28 and verse 15. And God was faithful to accomplish every promise in his life. And he says, in the book of Genesis chapter 32 and verse 10, I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies and of all the truth which thou hast showed unto thy servant, for with my staff I passed over this Jordan, and now I am become two bands. God was faithful to fulfill every promise that he had done in the life of Jacob. How much this evening we need to reflect on the goodness of God. And thank God this evening for every blessing, every promise that he has fulfilled in our life. The one who has called us is a faithful God. Dear child of God, I have a heart of gratitude this evening. God wants us to remember and to thank Him for every blessing that He has bestowed upon us. The psalmist says, Blessed of the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Take some time this evening to reflect on the goodness and the benefits of God, and you will have a heart to thank and praise God. God was faithful in fulfilling everything that He has promised His people. Now what does God expect from us this evening as His children? The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 6, Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in His ways and to fear Him. God expects us this evening to live in total obedience to His word. When God speaks to you, just live in obedience to the word of God. Walk in the ways of God and live in the fear of God. Now what it is to walk in His ways, live His life on this earth. And what is that way? It's a holy way. It's the highway of holiness. The Bible says, There's a way which seems right unto a man, 
but the end thereof is death. Never walk in your own ways, but walk in the ways of God, and your life will be blessed. Learn to fear God this evening. Live in the fear of God. When we fear God, we will fear no one else in this world. The Bible says the fear of man is a snare. But as God's people, God wants us this evening to live in His fear. Never do anything to displease God, but rather do everything to please the Lord your God. The Bible says God take a pleasure in them that fear Him. Before we enter the new year, let's take a very firm resolution this evening that we will live in obedience to God. When God speaks, just obey His voice. The Bible says, It's more blessed to obey than to sacrifice. Walk in the ways of God. Live a godly life. Live your life in the fear of God. And you can experience God's greatness and goodness in this coming year. Commit your life to God this evening. And you can experience the goodness, the greatness and the faithfulness of God. May God bless you. May God be with you. Amen.